Alright, what's going on y'all? y'all welcome to series five Right off the bat, I want to really start off with two things for housekeeping purposes. Design detective is exactly kind of what it sounds like, is uh, detecting really good design in the world. I started with Google, uh, that was the first case study, then I went to Chipotle. Um, a lot of people didn't know certain things that were going on with the brand, why they did refresh for the, the brand, the logo, the word mark, all of that stuff. Um, they had the, cor uh, not coronavirus, they had their own norovirus, salmonella. People were getting sick. It was really bad. Um, then there was, um, after those two, then I did Bank of America. I wrote blogs, shot videos. Uh, series four was Nothing Ear One. You can see that video. Um, it's still on the Starving Artist. Uh, YouTube page, very good video. Did a unboxing and design detective series for that. And so, design detective really goes behind the scenes. We try to figure out uh, what are companies thinking when they're creating these products. Um, there's some simple criteria. Um, the first uh, is it good design? Uh, that's the first thing that we tackle. Is it good design? Uh, the second thing is, is the user experience, is it worth the, the investment, the time, um, our money? You know, money is hard to come by these days. Is it worth it? And the, the last thing is kind of like a combination of those two things. And so uh, right off the bat, just want to say thank you to all who are watching. Um, we're actually going to give uh, one of these. Um, you probably know what this is. We're going to give one of these away for free. Um, we want to make sure that um, we're all being healthy, all being safe. Uh, so the first person um, who subscribes and you comment, um, we'll probably do some other things, but uh, mainly subscribe to the channel. Uh, put a comment on one of the videos and share it with a friend. And then you can DM me. Um, at uh, the starving artist podcast at gmail.com all the links and the information will be in the description so you'll be able to qualify for that very nice very nice so and these things are not cheap i went to the store this thing is not cheap so you can have this for free shall we begin <laughs> And just look at this beautiful packaging. You, you gotta really see this. This is like piano gloss black. Beautiful packaging. Super mass. Double thumbs up for the packaging. I mean, absolutely beautiful here. It's got a nice little styrofoam. Great, great job on the packaging. I, I can't say that enough. Um, got little goodies here. Uh, stick these on somebody's car. <laughs> um, oh, look at that. Look at that. It's a note from the CEO. Uh, thank you very much, Lee. Very much, uh, Lee Chan. Uh, very classy. Um, very nice. I've been corresponding with them over the past few weeks. And so, um, you know, I got this super mask on them. So, uh, shout out to the team and they just got some goodies here. I'll just go through them real quick um, Let me see here. I'm gonna mess up my special note. I'm gonna put that on my refrigerator 
from the CEO. So you uh, looks like you got some people here. Uh, kind of looks like uh, just like product design. Will I am probably up on these things. Yeah, very nice product design here. I like these. So super mask. All right. So again, look at this. Look at this. I mean, wow, your customers. Wow, your customers, right? Look at that little fanny pack action going on. Okay. Okay, maybe I put the roller blades on, do a little fanny pack action. No, I will not do that. But you know what? Roller skates over roller blades. We talked about that in one of our podcasts. Roller skates over roller blades all day. That's another story. I'll come back to it. It's this beautiful box. I mean, gorgeous. Gorgeous. How did they even make this? I mean, it looks like a shoe box. This is what we're talking about right here. This is what we're interested in. And it's all about the packaging. And it's all about the experience. Okay. You're trying to wow me here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that gloss. I mean, shining all day and all night. Good gracious. That's gorgeous. And so, again, uh, this was on Superman's Dime. I appreciate it. Every bit of it. I'll be wearing this. You know, Batman's about to come out. Guess what I'm doing? Guess where I'll be having this front row no i won't be in the front row i'll probably be in the middle excellent i mean this is just beautiful beautiful ergonomics the design is gorgeous uh, they really paid attention to detail here and i like when organizations do that when you pay attention to detail good detail look at these buttons these buttons are matching this nice pristine uh, gloss finish um this looks like uh, hard plastic um, but it's so soft uh, there goes the HEPA filter at the bottom there um, you can see the cord to recharge USB-C cable which is included in this box here um, you got your fans in there you can see your fans um, providing that cool maximum ventilation you got the nice I, I can't uh, get enough of that. Uh, I love that magnetic strip there. Um, excellent new strap design here. So this is uh, going to be able to go on your dome. But let me just throw this on right now. Let me just see. Can you hear me? <laughs> All right. Got the lights on. Super mask. You done it. You done it again. Very nice. So, uh, currently they have different versions out. They have the white version. They have an all black. Uh, this is the the golden black, the double XL. Uh, edition um, very nice very nicely arranged and then they have a camo a camo black I think it is um, so they got different editions that will suit your fancy you know so um, one of the big things um, we talk about on this channel is kind of unearthing kind of unpacking um, making sure like what where is this coming from so one of the big things um, Supermass did was it was a collaboration of a lot of different individuals uh, number one uh, you probably got the clue from the song in the beginning from the Black Eyed Peas my man Will I Am shout out to him fabulous job he up with one of the all time best Probably the best uh, mask costume designer 
Uh, that's Jose Fernandez with the Iron Head Studios team. Shout out to them as well. I'll throw in some B-roll so you can see some interviews with this guy, this cat. He's he's very down to earth. Uh, Jose Fernandez, that is uh, very down to earth. Uh, he got started with doing um, the Catwoman, the original Catwoman, Michelle Pfeiffer. Remember Michelle Pfeiffer back in the day? Anyway, Michelle Pfeiffer back in the day had the Catwoman suit with the little stitches. Um, then he he did all the Batman suits all the way up into 2016 with Ben Affleck. Um, had a flexible cow so he was able to turn his head. Uh, Daft Punk. Um, I mean, the, the list goes on and on. Spider-Man, Thor, Loki, uh, Black Panther. Uh, some X-Men stuff I, he's done so many masks and it doesn't surprise me looking at this mask here uh, really seeing um, how he was able to, to do so much and how he was able to be uh, so beautiful I mean very sculpted very nicely um, it has good weight to it, it um, it's, it's not cheap it's, it's not cheap products at all very sculpted uh, nicely done but back to Will I Am. So Will I Am had some products in the past. Now one was a, a watch that I guess it was supposed to battle Apple's smartwatch. That I don't know what to really say about it. It kind of flopped, to say it nicely. It, it basically flopped. It um, it it didn't do well. It was called the Pulse. Um, it was supposed to have music independent from your phone sort of like the Apple Watch um, didn't do well and so um, you know shout out to him though you know even if you fail get back up and and around like 2014 and people don't know this but he collaborated with Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine and he's one of the third founders of Beats and he was with Beats even before Beats sold to Apple um, and a lot of people don't know that he wanted to stay in the background uh, Dre and Jimmy uh, came up to him and asked him if they wanted if he wanted to have uh, beats by Dre to say something like beats by will they asked him um, there's plenty of interviews on to on the the internet that talk about that um, so you know he's not a majority holder um, in that company but um, I'm sure he still got a good payday with uh, when Apple came by and uh, bought them up for like 3.2 billion, I think. Um, so, you know, he he Will I Am is very creative, an entrepreneur, a futurist, always thinking like a pro progress uh, prognosticator. Thank you, getting the word all twisted up. Um, so he's always thinking ahead, and so. Um, they got together to produce this very quickly. Um, in 2020, yeah, he reached out to Jose. Um, <laughs> you know, Jose, it, it's not like he, he wasn't busy. He was probably doing uh, something for Marvel Studios, uh, building costumes and masks and stuff like that. I mean, he really is probably the best in the business that does it. Um, but anyway, so he, he probably has like, you know, mountains of work on his desk. And so he's able to collaborate with Will. Now, they had a partnership uh, for a while um, prior to this engagement with Supermask. Um, so uh, they got together and then they brought in Honeywell. Um, you know Honeywell products very well, um, pun intended. And um, Honeywell uh, kind of did the operations, the manufacturing, the brains behind the the mask, and it, it's an impressive mask. It's like I keep looking at it there. It um, isn't very impressive. Let me let me get it out again. It um, you, when you think about um, having this mask, um, because we're thinking about it. Um, there's a lot of different Im important functions here. Um, for one, you, you had to get a, a good seal that would be able 
to um, keep the contagions out, keep all the, the bad stuff out, the cooties out, you know. And then you have your own uh, filters that are in here, two filters, um, two fans and, and a HEPA filter, um, three filters, I believe, all together. So one, two, and then three in the inside. This is very well done. And then you're bringing in all these materials. You got this nice mesh netting with this nice leather trim on the bottom. Um, so A plus on the design. Uh, a plus. Uh, I can't say that enough. Um, very striking. And then, you know, when you wear something like this, they're only going for a certain demographic. This is not for everybody. Um, this is, this is, I mean, uh, you got to have some swag, man. You got to have some, some Swayze on you, man. I mean, you know, not everybody's going to wear this. And, and that's understandable. Um, you know, so you're not trying to capture a whole entire market. You're trying to, what they're trying to do is find a, a demographic, people who are going to appreciate this, people who are going to, you know, listen to music, people who are on the go, people who don't want to be, you know, hashtag uh, stuck in the house, uh, stuck at home, uh, people who, you know, but they want to be safe. That's the other thing. You know, it's not like they, you just want to be a rebel. No, they, they're really trying to promote safety and, um, you know, uh, bone up on your your mask you know get a better mask um, a lot of people with some masks they probably wear them day and night night and day wash them um, you know find the mask that um, that's going to be safe that you're going to be able to use and you know something like this I'm going to be able to use um, over and over again and inside the app did I talk about the app so the app um, it's a love-hate with the app, I have to be honest. Um, after kind of, I do UI, um, which is user interface and user experience. So um, a lot of times I'm trying to see like how other people are going to view uh, certain things. And I'm looking at the app and I'm trying to, I tried to turn on the lights um, with the app and um, that button did not work it wasn't sticky I don't know if the field was big enough but um, when I pressed that target button on the app on the glass um, it didn't work well the fans work well um, the ambient noise the ANC uh, that this thing has works well um, all the other buttons work well I was able to look at the air quality um, the, the the functionality of the, the turning the volume up and down going to the next song back of I mean the 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 product design the the team the X team as they call them uh, I kind of like that the X team I think that's kind of cool maybe I should steal that the X team but the the X team um, and the the product designers were able to uh, go in and with Honeywell um, can't forget about that. Um, there's a press release actually that, that you can kind of read um, and kind of tells you what they were doing in the background um, so it's there's a lot of different things here inside of this mask that are going well for it and you know the drop just happened in April of 2021 so it, it hasn't even been a full year yet that they're still uh, getting uh, user experience um, you know, when I spoke to the uh, the the CEO Lee Chan, uh, wonderful, wonderful woman, who uh, was able to send this out, I can't thank her for enough. Um, you know, one of the things I asked her about was like, why the name Super Mask? Because I don't know about you, but I was kind of blown away. I was like, what does that even mean? Like. We are in the future. Noise Which, uh, you know, just listening and reading some of the reviews, um, can you talk in it? And can you get a phone call? Now, I thought this was actually an interesting question. Um, listen to my exchange with my wife. Uh, I think you might kind of 
think it's kind of funny, but uh, listen to the exchange with my wife. All right, so you can hear me. Yes. Okay, so I am speaking inside with the mask attached to my face like an octopus. And um, what does it sound like from me normally versus with the mask on? It doesn't sound terribly different. Really? I sound like I'm underwater? <laughs> I mean, I can tell that you have something on your face, but it doesn't sound like it's completely different. Does, does it just sound like I have a normal mask on my face and I'm outside and I'm like, talking to you? <laughs> it sounds kind of like you're Kanye with the mouth wired shut. <laughs> 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 all right so you were able to kind of hear that exchange with my wife um she kind of called me kanye so i thought that was kind of funny but um some other things is um can you wear glasses with it now i put these on for a reason because um as i put the mask on um it did fog up it did fog up however when I put the glasses on the rubber seal, so there's a rubber seal that comes around your nose and it fits pretty snug. What I found is if I let it rest on the seal, they did not fog up. Um, another one, another good question here. Um, can you wear them on a plane? Now to me, this, was, this could be a deal breaker because a lot of people, um, you're thinking about uh, uh, an investment like this and so one of the questions I asked Lee this is the CEO I asked her the same question and let me um, tell you uh, what she said so I, I mentioned um, I wanted to use this on a trip for airport TSA um, but uh, the TSA won't allow you so I did some research they will not allow you to wear this on a plane because of the exhaust vents um, it's filtering your air, so you you know you you all set, but everyone kind of around you um, exactly. But they mentioned that uh, generation two, so there's another version of this thing. Um, if you didn't know, there's another version of this thing in the works, and she mentions that it will solve all the problems and issues above. Look for it. Sign up for um, updates. IG news soon so they they already know about what's going on with uh the airport and so what i would say is uh, make a lighter version i am gonna go probably see batman i i most likely will have this on um three hour movie um i was able to watch this at another movie um with my wife um so when I did have this on, I had the fans kicking. Yo, I will tell you the fans, the fans in here. Now, option number one is it does nothing. You, you might as well bypass option number one. Number three is probably the best. I had it on the fan speed two. It didn't really do much for me. However, once I got it to the speed three, the fans were kicking. I was just laying back, rested up, just watching the movie. Now, I wasn't eating popcorn or anything, but I was sitting there watching. And for real, like I was just, I was just chilling. I was literally chilling. So what you're dealing with here is face technology. This is something that has to be done right. And so the product designers and the teams have to kind of get together and, and make sure this is, is done right. Another uh, question that I got here, um, can you breathe in it? Uh, yes, you can breathe in it. Um, okay, um, is it true ANC or white noise? It is true ANC, I will tell you. I was using the app, I used all different um, options there, clicking on each one um, for ANC, true ambient noise. Um, ANC is just active noise cancellation, if you didn't know. Um, but I was able to use that, and it worked very well. Um, I was very impressed with it. Um, 
so they do work well. Now this does have filters. Um, I'm seeing here replacing filters. Yeah, inside the app, inside the app, um, you I can show you that again. Inside the app, there is an option where you can. They actually give you filters as well. So that I think that's nice. Um, but inside the app, I got an alert on my phone that was like uh, nine days until your super mass filters expire I thought that was pretty cool I have a, another question here um, I asked you know what is the ultimate goal for a product such as this um, good question right what what is the ultimate goal for something like this and they mentioned that super mass is a lifestyle brand and we want to serve our community as a brand that you can trust hmm. okay I see what you're doing there so you know, it's it's a lifestyle brand, and a lifestyle brand is is something that um, you wear. It's a wearable technology. This is face technology, and so that's um, that's kind of something that they were thinking about. Um, another question, again, because um, I I had to ask. I was like, what does the word super mask mean? Um, and they said that um, super mask was developed from the blend of technology and superhero so you can kind of see that I thought that was actually kind of cheesy and kind of funny um, uh, technology and superhero and then it says uh, the X team here at the studio are a big part of what we do and hence the super mask came from the logo less is more now I gotta school you a little bit uh, less is more comes from the bar house um, design theory so back during World War II um, there was a, a school called the Bar House they were the quintessential design hub at the time no one was doing design like them and so back in the early 1900s uh, you, then you get the Swiss style then you get all these you know different styles Walter Gropius and um, Herbert Baer um, all these Europeans um, they start to, to branch out and, and now we get you know um, the international um, Swiss style we get modernism minimalism you know all those things they come from the Bauhaus movement so uh, one of the the mantras was less is more and it really is. Um, we always talk about doing things simple, less is more. And so that's kind of the mantra that they came up with. So I thought that was that was pretty cool. Um, one other question here I want to um, bring out is, um, so we talked about some of the technology here. And so I asked about Honeywell. So we know we all know who Honeywell is. What did they provide for you? And they mentioned that Honeywell is a great partner. Um, make no mistake, Honeywell is a great partner. They are great innovators, and the development team also created our mass filtration system. The partnership working together side by side to create the next generation of face technology. Wow, so um, a lot to unpack there. I mean, this thing is just. It is durable too. It's um, you know it, it has good uh, permanence, good durability. Um, I can't say that enough. Um, getting the headphone all zipped up, but you know um, I'm not sure how many people are gonna be rocking the fanny pack. You know I did. I put around my arm like a sling, and it kind of looked like a purse at first. So I kind of just was adjusting it so it didn't look like a purse but um I mean this thing is fresh I mean they really thought about all the people that would be wearing this and um, you know I, I mean this thing is fresh you can just kind of see there um, how they branded this thing uh, very nice very nicely done got like orange zippers and then you got the the brand word mark there. We're kind of like coming to the end here. Um, one of the big things I I didn't really get to mention 
was Jose Fernandez. He kind of got lost in the shuffle. I mentioned him earlier. But this guy and his team are just beyond creative. I mean, they did some of the space suits for Elon Musk, um, you know, for SpaceX. Um, he, he's done so many things. He, his tentacles are kind of like everywhere. Um, and he's been in this game for a long time. I mean, a really long time. So he understands what a mask should look like and how it should feel. I'm really interested in Generation 2 because uh, version number 2, uh, will it have the exhaust vents? Um, I do like the lights. There is a competitor by Razer. Uh, I think it was called Project Hazel, but I'm not sure what the actual final name of the mask is. And it's an RGB mask. It got too many lights, man. I'm just like, who wants to look like a Christmas tree walking outside? You got all these lights. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm interested what a version would look like without the exhaust vents. Um, I remember my aunt said it, 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 it would look like it would be very heavy on her face. And she has a smaller face. Um, so I, I thought about that too. And, and after a while, it does, the gravity kind of just pulls your face down. Um, because it's just a mask and naturally it's just going to start, you know, weighing you down. So a lighter version. Um, I'm curious about what that would look like. Um, and then something to sanitize at night, you know. Uh, if you're wearing it all day, you're probably, if you have something like this, you're going to be wearing it, you know, you want to make it worth it. So maybe like a sanitizing station, like, you know, for one of my drones, I have like this cone, uh, this cone shaped thing that it sits in while it's charging. Maybe something like that, it just gets sprayed with UV or some type of, you know, maybe it's just UV light that uh, cures um, gives it a bath basically um, because there are some things you, now you can't wipe it down with alcohol wipes okay that's cool but who wants to be wiping this thing down with alcohol wipes all the time you know that ain't that ain't gonna be happening I'm not gonna be doing that so I mean I, if if it comes to it if I have to I, I probably will but um, one of the big things is um, you know how do you make this thing better and the price point, the, the price is, is high, you know, I think Supermass for sending this to me, but um, one of the things is the, the price point is very high, and so you, you can't use it on the plane? Come on, dog, come on. You got to be able to use it on the plane. If I'm going, that's probably one of the main reasons why people would buy something like this, is to be able to get on the plane. So sort that out with TSA so I don't get stopped. Um... You know, and then appointment viewing, like going to the movies, uh, going to concerts, um, going bowling. I mean, just being around a lot of people, people are going to feel comfortable wearing something like this. Um, I think that um, they did a really good job with the design, um, all aspects. Um, you won't look like a fool if you're walking outside. This thing definitely turns heads, man. I was, I was walking... I was styling and profiling, getting my Swayze on, and people were looking like, oh snap, what is that? What is that? And, um, you know, it was it was cool. You know, I got some references like, oh, you look like Bane. And, you know, you're going to get those references. But uh, Bane from Batman and stuff like that. Again, I'm going to see Batman in this. Um, so, you know... It, you know, that's what Design Detective is really about. Just trying to uncover, just trying to get the truth behind uh, good products. And I think this is a good product. I think the app, as I mentioned, there were some bugs in there. I was, you, you could see, I was trying to press that light. Um, the light would not turn on um, until I kept tapping it. It would, it would turn like, it was like, I was counting my taps. It was like three taps, it would turn on, three taps, it would turn. I'm like, this is too much. This is too much. It just has to work. So there are some bugs in the app X team. Professor X, you know, giving you all the heads up. Um, so work on those. And um, as far as like Generation 2, I'm, I'm interested. I'm very interested in what this will look like. This wearable face technology. Uh, shout out to Will I Am again. Shout out to Jose Fernandez. Thank you. 
Lee Chan uh, for sending this out to your boy. I thank you very much. Um, I wear it all the time. You know, it's it's very comfortable to me. Um, it's not actually very heavy. It's very comfortable. Um, you know, and you got people. You got to step up your mask game. You know, the cloth mask. If you can put a filter in there, great. But um, the fortunate thing is, right now, the numbers for for COVID and this pandemic, the coronavirus, are going down. So that's really good news. And in the area that I'm living in, um, they're already considering um, mass, uh, getting rid of mass mandates just altogether. So um, it is something that uh, a lot of people will be looking forward to. But um, again, Will I Am, uh, Honeywell, Jose Fernandez, he should not get lost in this because he's the, the brains of this operation. Um, and, and will I am the one with the the wherewithal, the the know-how, the futurist, the thinking ahead, knowing that we're going to be wearing masks. You know, um, it's important to kind of uh, make sure that we um, are doing things safely. And your questions too. Um, if you have any other questions, um, I try to cover a lot of them. Um, a lot of them that I was thinking of. But if you still have other questions, let me know in the comments below uh let me know if you would be rocking this thing right you know maybe you're not the demographic you know maybe you're like nah it's too expensive um i'll wait till other versions generation two i don't know i didn't i didn't hear when that's coming out but um uh, my final review is i would sit and wait i would sit and wait but i would pay attention to what they're doing this is definitely a company uh worth paying attention to um you know, I'm an early adopter. I like all things tech, all things gadgets. And uh, this one definitely piqued my interest when I seen it. So um, keep your eye out on the X. Keep your eye out on Supermass. See what they're doing in the future. All right. Again, uh, this channel, Design Detective, is dedicated to uh, finding good design, detecting good design in the world. And brands, um, you know, branding your identity can be a hassle. Um, here at Imagine Action Studios, that's what we do. We help uh, for-profit and non-profit organizations uh, brand their companies using uh, user experience in a 4D way, a four-dimensional way. When you say four-dimensional, what do you mean? Well, we're thinking about the brand experience. We're thinking about uh, the perception um, making sure that your brand is getting uh, all the touch points that it, it needs uh, so that your consumers are experiencing a frictionless um, experience and that's very hard to do it takes a lot of time um, you want to make things easy you want to make things simple and you want to make sure you get out of the way of that and so in order to do that uh, you have to have some discovery you have to have some methods and some processes in place in order to do that and that's what we do here at Imagine Action Studio. so uh, thank you for watching this video and shout out to Supermass as they keep rocking what they're doing here I'm loving it loving it